This is a quick tutorial video for agency users of Signal Genesis and how to create a media room for yourself, for your own agency. I'm in a agency's account and I'm going to show you very quickly um, how to create the media rooms for your own agency. If you're going to create a media room for your clients, you're going to go to the entities tab and you're going to either you know create one for an existing entity or you're going to add a new one. You are not going to add your own agency here as an entity. So if you've done that, delete the agency information here. Um, I'm talking about your primary agency. So some of you guys may have a secondary uh, agency or a niche agency and a generalist agency. Your primary agency, which is tied to your primary account, you need to click on your name and click on account. Okay. So um, your primary agency is under here, under the reseller information tab, okay? Here is where you manage your primary agency information by editing the agency here. And here is where you actually launch your media rooms for in the three different ways. The way, this is the branded integration code that you'll, you can create for your actual website. Okay, I just created the media room code here. Here is the hosted domain where you can put in, you know, in this case, it'd be maybe RTA marketing. And then you would choose from the drop down media room dot app. Now, I won't do this because uh, this agency may want ink in this as well, you know, but you can choose what you want here as long as it's available. And then you can hit request hosted domain that will launch the media room on the hosted domain. And then if you want to deploy the WWM version, of your domain, whatever, I'm going to be rtamarketinginc.com or whatever it is, you would go through uh, this process to create the two CNAME records that need to be added to the DNS provider uh, for your domain. And then WWM will work um, as well for a branded domain version. So this is how you can launch the media room for your own agency, okay? here under the prime as a as a reseller information so the reseller information here is where you will actually launch your agency media rooms it's also where you edit your agency information do keep in mind that if you change your email here it will change this uh, email to be also your login email so whatever email is here is also going to be changed to your login email so if you have an email here in your profile and you change it here in your reseller it's going to change it for the profile as well and that will become your new login email as well so be advised of that now for those of you who have a secondary agency or a niche agency as well um, that is different from your primary agency then you would certainly go to your entities tab add your niche agency here under entities and then you can launch media rooms for your secondary agency or any other company that you want here. But for the primary agency, you need to click on your name, click on account, and then manage all of that under the reseller information tab. Integrations is where you launch your own media room for your own agency. Uh, make sure you can, if you need to edit any information for your agency, you would do that here under the edit your agency uh, information. And app channels is where you uh, would act, activate app channels for your own agency entity, okay? You do not add your agency here into entities unless it's a separate entity from the one that's um, uh, your main, main one or your primary agency under uh, reseller information. I hope that clears it up and helps you as your uh, for your own agency user accounts on how to uh, launch your own media room for your own agency. Thank you.